What's going on everybody? Lucas Decker here. In this video, we're gonna see what happens when we freeze a metal yo-yo. I have never tried this before, so I have no clue what's gonna happen, but it's definitely gonna be interesting. If you are new to yo-yoing and wanna get started learning some tricks, then be sure to head over to my online yo-yo shop and pick up the Yo-Yo Master Pack. The Master Pack includes the best yo-yos for getting started and learning tricks. The shop will be the first link in the description below. And with all that being said, we're not wasting any more time. Let's get started. All right, everyone, so the yo-yo that we'll be freezing is this magic yo-yo. I'm not a huge fan of this yo-yo, and it's just been sitting in my closet collecting dust. So if it gets ruined, it won't be much of a loss. As you can see, this yo-yo has a ball bearing. And if any part of this yo-yo is going to get damaged, I definitely think it's going to be the bearing. Now, before we freeze this, we're going to do a little test throw. And as you can see, the yo-yo is totally unresponsive. All right, let's freeze it. All right, everyone, I've got all of the necessary yo-yo freezing equipment right here. We're gonna fill this container with water and put the yo-yo inside. And after we freeze it, we'll have a massive piece of ice with the yo-yo in the center. All right, here it goes. And there you have it. Maybe not the nicest looking contraption, but it'll work. All right, everyone, it is time for the reveal. You can kind of see a little bit of the yo-yo in there, that red spot, and if I get just the right angle on the top, you can kind of see a little bit of red in there as well. And as for the string, it's perfectly intact. Uh, nothing really seemed to happen to it whatsoever. All right, everyone, here's why planning ahead pays off. I'm just gonna slide this pencil out and that knot right there is actually a magic knot. So I'm just gonna pull on it and boom. All right, I ran this under some warm water to get it to loosen up. Boom, check that out. Yo, that looks crazy. That is so cool how you can see the string going through the ice to the yo-yo. The ice is all cracked inside. I don't know what that's about. All right, let's just take a moment to admire this before it melts. You know what? Let's try doing a trick with it. Oh, it's so heavy. Yeah, rock the baby, check that out. <laughs> I'm so afraid that the string is gonna snap right here. Now, as cool as this is to look at, I wanna crack it open and check out the yo-yo inside. And to do that in the most entertaining way possible, I'm gonna smash it. All right, guys, I got the yo-yo right here. X marks the spot, let's do it. Three, two, one. Dude, that was wild. <laughs> Look at this, poor GoPro. So the yo-yo still has a few chunks of ice on it. Actually, you know what? This piece of ice came off the yo-yo too, but it's just being held on by the string. Oh, it looks like this piece can come off. Oh, wow. Look at that. That is really cool. As you would expect, that fits perfectly in the cup of the yo-yo. Ooh, and look at this here. The string is still frozen in this piece of ice too. Let's get some of the ice out of here. See if we can just pull this off the string maybe. Okay, cool. I'm trying to get this piece of ice out of the cup. There we go. All right, cool. It doesn't look like there is any external damage to the yo-yo. Looks like we still got some ice around the bearing. Oh, this is actually really hard. Oh, never mind. So it looks like it's gonna unscrew like normal. Um, okay. Wow. I mean, the bearing probably needs a little bit of lubricant, but beyond that, it looks perfectly fine. However, there is only one way to know if the yo-yo truly survived, and that is to test it out. All right, everyone, I got the yo-yo right here. I just put a different string on it. Let's see how this goes. No way. Wow. 
What? So the yo-yo plays a little bit worse than it did before, but beyond that, not many major issues. It is kind of responsive now, as you can see. But if you dry out the bearing, throw some lubricant in it, you'll be good to go. All right, well, that definitely did not go the way I thought it was going to go. Let me know in the comments if you're just as surprised as I am. And that's going to put a wrap on this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. <clears throat> Excuse me. I know you enjoyed it. Guys, be sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. Also, if you would be so kind to leave some feedback in the comments below of what you thought of this video, that'd be awesome. And should I try this again, but with a plastic yo-yo? Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And I'll be talking to you very soon.